This is everything you need to know about the Google Nest doorbell. What you will first see inside of the box is the Google Nest doorbell itself, a little security key, a mounting bracket, a little bit of like a wire extensions to like extend the wire of your current doorbell system, and something to connect to your doorbell chime. So when you press on this little button, it will actually ring the inside of your home. You're able to view the video feed from your doorbell inside of the Google Home app. And in the Google Home app, you can start replying back when somebody rings the doorbell, and you'll also receive notifications from it. So in here, if you want to reply back, they have the options. You can just leave it right there. We'll be right here. No one can come to the door. So when I press on it, it will play that message in whatever language it is. Hi there. No one can answer the door right now. We'll be notified you stopped by. Hola. No podemos abrir la puerta en este momento. Recibiremos una notificación de tu visita. Now another feature on here is a little microphone button. So when somebody vi like visits your house or rings a doorbell, you can not only view them in the app, but you're also able to reply. So let me go ahead and press on this right here. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Not only that, but you can hear what is not going on. Way. You're able to get the idea. You're able to hear what they're talking and they're able to hear what you are saying when you turn on the microphone button. This works also again on all Nest devices, not just the Nest doorbell. If you go to your, your three little dots, you go to your settings and you go to audio, you'll see all of these options. So there's microphone, turning off the mic, disables, live audio and audio recording. So I currently have that turned on so it will do live audio and audio recording. So you can hear what's going on when you are actually viewing it. But if you want audio recording in those history footage, like just the footage when you're just viewing it, then you would have to click on the audio recording. So when this is on events in your video history, it will turn, uh, it will include everything your device microphone can hear. Now down here is the camera volume. Choose how loud your voice will be when you talk and listen. This is what the audio sounds like on a Google Nest doorbell when it's like hello. This is what the audio sounds like on a Google Nest doorbell when it's at a level 10. So when you talk with the app or even with your Nest device, this will project it louder than if you said at level 30. The next feature in the app is this three little like pancakes as it's called in school so if you press on these little pancakes you'll see that you can turn off the camera or quiet time now with quiet time basically it will disable the chime inside of our house the visitor announcements and it will only take video messages that's it but it won't tell them that you are able to view them later so it basically you can choose it from as minimal as 30 minutes or as long as three hours to shut down this little doorbell. So if you're asleep for three hours or something, you can just place it to three hours. But again, keep in mind, the doorbell inside of your home will not ring, it will not chime. The visitor announcements will be disabled and you will not get notifications on your phone, but you'll get little like videos like, hey, blah, 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 was at the door, things like that. Right below quiet time and turn off, you'll see familiar faces. So if you go to familiar faces, you get a whole list about like what you're able to detect. But this option is only available if you have Nest Aware, which unfortunately is part of another subscription. I got it because I got a grandma and with my grandma, she's able to know who's at the front door. Now, not 100% of the time or 90% of the time it's accurate. So you do have to double check that that person that it's saying is legit. Because sometimes it says my face is actually my dog or something else. George is at the front door. Right below familiar face is history. When you press on history, you're able to get what is going on throughout your day. There's a lot of things that I still did not know about this thing. So if you see right below here, you can remove your device here at the very bottom. And right above that, it says delete video history. So if you want to delete your video history and refresh it all over again, you just press on that. But honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. Now let's go into events. Basically, it's just scene events. Zone 1, Zone 2, Zone 3, Zone 4, Outside Zone, Familiar uh, Face Detection. So when you do this, you can add a zone just by pressing Add Zone. Currently, I just have mine set to 4, and it only allows you to do 4 zones. It does not allow you to go over 4 zones. So you can see that I have one set for like that area, my area, and whatever's going around around here. So you can set those up. Now if I go into one of my zones, you can see you can select a zone color, event history in the zone, people, packages, animals, vehicles, motion. So you can select all of these right here. So if you press on the little camera icon at the very top, you're able to adjust where you want your motion to be located at. So I set it to that area and I'm gonna press on the check mark. And there you go, you have set your zone.
Right below events is the doorbell itself. So with the doorbell, you can see that there's visitor announcements. What it does is if you have other Google devices, such as a Nest Mini, a Nest Hub, it will start to announce. And if you have the Nest Hub, it will show like the actual video of who is at the front door. Now, if you have a Google Chromecast, you can ask Google to show your front door and it will show the live feed from your front door. Now, if somebody does actually press on your doorbell on a Google Chromecast and all of your Nest devices, it will announce who is there, including giving your phone a notification that somebody pressed the doorbell. Now, here in a doorbell theme, this is one of my favorites. You can see I placed it on a Thanksgiving gobble. So if I press on this doorbell, it will start gobbling at me right after I press it. Now, throughout the years, they always add more things, including for Halloween, they had some Halloween functions on there. Uh, it's just really cool features on the themes. Now, when it is not like a holiday and it's summer, basically there's Ding Dong, Birthday Party, Happy Birthday, Nest Classic, Digital, Bells, and Westminster. So when you press on that, basically whoever presses the doorbell, it will play that sound right after they press it. Right below here is a ring indoor chime. When you select that on, basically if you have a chime inside of your home, it will actually ring that chime. Again, this is a wired version, so on a battery one, it would probably not work, but with your visitor announcements, it will work. So if there's an electronic chime, if you own an electronic chime, what it does is basically holds or plays it for however long it is. Now, if you have an actual bell, I would recommend you to press on no, because then it will just, it's just gonna act like that, it's stuck. It won't really do an actual chime. So if I press on yes, you can see the length of chime from one second all the way to the maximum amount of 10 seconds. Right below here is video. So we can see that there's a 30 day event in video history. And there are other Nest subscriptions that goes up to 60 days. The video quality, my Wi-Fi is actually really good. So I press it on max. Now there's night vision, always on, auto or off. Basically, it's just night vision, simple terms. You guys all know what night vision. Now the status light brightness, basically it's that little light right here. And this is the, where the microphone is. So right below here is a microphone or right above here is a light and that's the actual camera. If you are thinking of buying the Google Nest doorbell, I have left links down in the description down below. Now, if you want more videos from this channel, make sure that you subscribe right here or check this playlist or video right here. And that will give you more information about the Google Nest Home and its whole entire system or even smart home. My name is Regan from Regan Films Tech. Thanks for watching.